I fell asleep last night. I didn't unrag my hair. It, my straps are a little damp, but <clears throat> that ain't that don't mean my hair is still wet. My hair dry. But I'll show y'all the results when I get to the crib. Right now, I'm gonna go pick up the parts for my car. So my car stop doing that stupid shaking stuff. It keep doing. And I don't want my wheels to fall off. I gotta hurry up and do this lady stuff, man. Cause when I tell you, <clears throat> when I tell you I need money right now, I need money. And it's gonna be a two part vlog. I be, every time I got these do rags and hoodie on, bro, I be looking like I'm on fucking snack, nigga. <laughs> uh, looking like a snack, shut it. Man, it's just amazing to me to know. I ain't as dark as you goofies try to portray me. Like, y'all swerving down, I'm stupid black, bro. Like, it be funny. Y'all be trying to make it seem like I blend in with my jacket and shit. Shit ain't funny, bro. Like, the dark skin jokes, it's old now. They so recycled that it's not funny no more. And it's always coming from the ugliest light skin motherfuckers, bro. They just mad because the dark skin is taking over. We, we done took over half the population, man. It's too many of us. Y'all can't stop us now. These light skin motherfuckers is rare now. Don't nobody want y'all because y'all be in y'all feelings. Because y'all know y'all rare. Shaking my head. Man, I need to hurry up. I gotta get back to the crib by a certain time. Cause I know he don't want to do this. Yeah, he, he tired, but he said he's gonna do it. Shout, shout out to Pops, man. Shout out to Pops. <coughs> he know, he, if he ever see this, he know. I'm talking about him. Shout out to Pops, man. He always come through the clutch for me at anything, bruh. For real, for real. Like, anything. Man, I always forget to cut that off. Yeah, yeah. He come through the clutch for me for anything. Anything, bruh. Like, <clears throat> my car. He ain't even have to fix my car for the free. He ain't even fix it for free. He do it all the time. So I, when I get where I'm going, I got my man. So he said all he want. He said, hey, man, all I, all I want. I ain't going to need to tell y'all what he said. I'm going to just pop up on y'all with it. Like, damn, what I tell y'all. <laughs> when I get where I need to go. It's bro serious right now. Oh, he lucky the ambulance came. Because I was finna say, are you serious right now? Really? Man. My prayers go out to whoever that is that need that ambulance, man. For real, for real. You gotta take advantage of every second you get in the day, every breath you take, you gotta take advantage of it to be different. Because, bro, I tell you, I watched the uh, Swag De Niro. Vlad TV interview again. I ain't seen that in a minute since last year around this time. Well, it was in December, but it was still around this time. And man, I tell you, bro, like, I woke up. I mean, I had a nightmare watching, after watching that. Like, I just, it just took me back to everything that I'd been through. Like, when I was a kid and stuff, running and shit playing in Chicago, and niggas just don't care. Like, if you in their way, you just happen to be in the way. Like, they didn't mean to, but you just was in the way. And I'm just glad to know that 10 years later, like, I'm still here. Anything could have happened that day. I'm like, man, bro, anything. I'm just glad to say I'm here at 18. Lil Jojo ain't, Lil Jojo can't even say that, man. Look at Karen. Ah! But Lil Jojo can't even say that, man. It's like, it, 
it like hurt my heart when I woke up because like that's all you could see the pain and swag face and to lose somebody is just like like it feel like you just that energy that person have around you and it's gone it's just like man it's not that that's why when my grandma died like I, that's, I wasn't the same. Like That's when I became quiet and I stayed to myself because I could tell my grandma anything and she wouldn't say nothing to nobody. It's the only person I trusted. And now I tell somebody something somebody else know. And that's why I'm so quiet. I stay to myself. People always wonder that about me. And I never really tell them why I'm so quiet or why it seems like I'm shy, but I just... My grandma passed, it was just like that. Like, I didn't, I feel like I was alone. I feel like I was by myself. I ain't had nobody. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still got my moms and stuff, but at the same time, she still tells stuff too. She wasn't like my grandma. If she was more like my grandma, maybe it'd be a different situation, but I wasn't, I, I'm just not, I don't mess with people. If I tell you don't say something to somebody, don't say nothing. Like, I could tell my grandma something about my mama, my brother, my sister, anybody in the family. She won't say nothing, but she'll say she witnessed it and resolve, and she'll try to resolve the problem for me. And it'll get, it'll get fixed, and I was always like that. Like, I was a happy kid. Like, I can't even lie to you. Like, the day she died, I just didn't believe it. Like, I was in the... I was in the crib. I mean, you know, I was at Walmart with my cousins, and I knew she was on her deathbed. But I didn't. I just didn't. I didn't. I was so young at the time. I didn't even want to take it in like that. And it's just like it come to find out. We in Walmart. They like grandma did, and I just I didn't know how to react. Like my ma my mouth just dropped. cause that was like that was my that was my partner, man. Like she raised me. She didn't she the reason I, I I got the intelligence I have now because she forced me to do my homework when I used to go to Beasley. I didn't want to do homework. I used to come home lying. Like, man, bro. That hurt me though. To the bone. I feel like I'll never be the same again. But I'm starting to speak out more a little bit. For the better. But it's tough when you lose your grandma. A lot of people don't know about that, but that shit that shit hurts. If she if you had a close relationship with your grandma. That's why I tell everybody who got their grandma and they barely spend time with them. I say, man, you need to cherish your grandma, dude. I wish I could get my grandma back, bro. Like my grandma was, man, me and my grandma was OG. She knew what she, she knew how to raise her kids. She did all that. She made sure we stuck together, all that. That's why when you see me with my family, you will see me at my happiest point because I love my family, and that's how I've always been. Like, you can't change that about me. But, like, dude, that, that just messed with my head for the longest. Here go my wallet. I left it in my pants from last night. But, like I was saying, bro, I remember going to, like, at the funeral, I didn't even cry at the funeral. I didn't even go up there to look at her body. Because I, I just didn't want to see it. And I know when they when they do your body, it just don't look good to me. Like, I'm like, that's not my grandma. Like, that's not her. And it's funny, because I can remember something from so long ago. But, it, like, anything that's, like, big that happened to me, I'm going to remember it. And all I remember was me being, me going to school. Like, because I took a whole week off from school in fourth grade. And I just couldn't take it. Like, I was mentally defeated. In my head, I'm I'm just asking God why, like why my grandma. I'm at my locker. I ain't even going to class yet. I'm crying. My teacher come out the classroom. She like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Like, 
man. My grandma gone. Like, she ain't never coming back, bro. Like, yeah. They be like, yeah, you gonna see him again one day. But at the same time, they say when you go to heaven, you ain't gonna remember them like that. Like, you gonna know them, but you ain't gonna remember them as your family member. Y'all just gonna be close and together as one. But it's like, that's my grandma, bro. Like, I'm trying not to cry because I love my grandma, man. I miss her so much. I know if my grandma was here, I wouldn't go through half the stuff I go through, man. It's hard. It's hard. I get up every day. And I just be like, what can I do to make a difference without hurting myself? I just want the best for everybody. And it's hard trying to do that. I want to be a peacemaker. I want to do so much. But it's like my grandma left. It's all that. It's just, that energy is just stuck inside of me, and I won't tell nobody. I try my hardest, but I just don't trust nobody no more. I just wish she ain't had to leave so early. At least till I fully became a grown man. Then I would have been cool, but she gone now. So I say, cherish everybody in your family, whether you like them or not, because you don't know when they're going to be gone. Like, I love my mama. And sometimes she will piss me off to the point where I'm ready to just scrap like i don't even want to talk no more but at the end of the day it's my mama like bro but if it wasn't for my mama i wouldn't even be here because she could have easily just aborted me because i wasn't even supposed to be here man so a lot of people don't forget and i'm living my fullest life trying to have fun trying to just be a regular kid but there's so much hurt inside of me that sometimes I don't even know who I am half the time. Like, I love basketball, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like a lot of people is trying to force it on me and that's not what I'm just about. Like, I'm more than just basketball. People look at me as a meal ticket half the time, and it's starting to catch up with me, and I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> like, but at the same time, I can't do nothing about it, but just pray and forgive. That's all I can do. I can't do nothing about it, because if I try to resolve it myself, it ain't gonna do nothing to turn into something bad. Listen, my grandma was hit, man. I get back at home once I get my once I get back home. To look bummy and be a dumb dummy and disrespect your mommy. Have you forgotten? Who put you on this earth, huh? Who brought you out right? And who loved you since your birth? Reward is a brainwashed kid going wild. Young little girls already have a child. Bad company.